Hey, Ron here from Military Images Magazine with a new episode of Life on the Civil War Research Trail. I know you've had this moment in the past that cried out for a photo or a video and you reach for your phone and you can't get there in time. You've missed the moment. It's happened to me more often than I want to admit. That feeling that you get when you've missed a shot is practically as old as photography itself. The first commercially successful photograph was produced in 1839, and by the early 1840s, dreamers were thinking about using photography beyond the portrait to record goods, to record events, to document all kinds of things in our lives, even to personalize passports and licenses and all kinds of things like that. But Technology was not really there yet, and it wasn't really until the 1860s when photographers and the public began to realize the potential for photography to be used to capture those magic moments. It's interesting to me that over that short period of time, just about 20 years, the culture had become conditioned to want photographs to record particular events. They didn't always get them. Here's an example from 1863 of a whiskey seller in Baltimore soon after the Battle of Gettysburg. This news brief appeared in a Philadelphia newspaper. It's not particularly long, but I want to read it to you because buried inside this report is that desire to have that photograph of that moment. So here we go. Quote, the most woebegone, forlorn, discomfited, nondescript looking individual I ever saw or ever expect to see was the white man who sat for an hour yesterday afternoon in Monument Square, it's in Baltimore, fronting General Shanks or General Tyler's headquarters guarded by two armed soldiers on top of a flour barrel labeled thus. It was me who sold whiskey to the soldiers. The placard or board upon which this significant sentence was written in large letters measured about three feet in length and a foot in breadth. It hung pendant by a string from the awful culprit's neck across his chest. A photograph of him, barrel, Soldiers placed, spectators and all, would be worth a fortune. Repentance, misery, honor, everything, including blue devils, melancholy, misanthropy, self-disgust, looking two ways for Sunday, not wanting to be looked at at all, and yet conscious of being an object of universal attraction, he was there depicted. As a moral, though not in letters, yet plainer than if emblazoned in characters of living light, spoke to every beholder thus, I will sin no more. I will sell no more whiskey to soldiers. If I do, I'm darned. The man, after being liberated, walked off sheepishly, scarcely knowing which point of the compass to take, wishing, no doubt, there never had been a soldier in the United States. So an interesting little anecdote, and I can tell you as a photo collector, I would love to have had that photograph. I would love to have seen that photograph. So there you have it, the story of the photograph that never was and one that would be worth a fortune, at least according to this reporter on the subject of morals and alcohol in 19th century America during the Civil War after the Battle of Gettysburg. So until the next time on the trail, we'll see you. Take care. Bye.